Hello, this is Mr. Pearson, and this video is on writing numbers using base 10 blocks. Now, place value helps us to know the value of a digit in a number. The value is how much the number is worth. A place value chart has different spaces to show value. We have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, and it will continue on and on and on depending on how we look at it. Now one way to show place value is to use base 10 blocks. And base 10 blocks are models that represent the numbers. So here if you take a look at this screen, uh, you'll see this giant block. Uh, this block represents a number in the, the thousands place. So this particular one is worth 1,000. If you were to count up all of these little squares, you would see that there are 1,000 of them in this block. This block represents a number in the hundreds place. So this particular picture that we're looking at is worth 100. There are 100 of these uh, squares. And this block represents a number in the tens place. It's worth 10 because each one of these rods has 10 squares. And this block represents a number in the ones place. It's only worth one because there's only one of these uh, cubes here. Now we can combine these blocks together to make models of a number. So if I take a look, I can see that there is one, two, three, four of the tens rods. So we know that there's a four in the tens place. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of the ones place. So this model shows the number 48. Four in the tens place, eight in the ones place. And what number does this is shown by this model? Well, if you look, you'll see that there are one, two, three, four of the hundreds. There are one, two, three of the tens, and one, two, three, four, five of the ones. So this model shows 435. You have four of the 100s, 400, three of the tens, so 30, and one, two, three, four, five of the ones, 435. Now what model is shown, or what number is shown by this model? Well, again, we're gonna count. So we have one, two, three of the thousands. We have one, two of the hundreds. One, two, three, four of the tens and one two three four five six of the ones so we have the number this model shows three thousand two hundred forty six all right now time for a little quiz you've got a model on the screen and I want you to tell me what number is shown by this model so take a moment count up what you see and then tell me is it a, 3,414, B, 4,310, C, 3,410, or D, 4,304. So go ahead and take a moment and count that, see what you come up with. And if you told me that the correct answer was 4,304, because there are four in the thousands place, three in the hundreds place, no tens, there are no tens rods here, and four in the ones. If you said letter D, 4,304, you would be correct. Okay, here's another one for you. What number is shown by this model? Is it 3,413? Is it B, 3,013? Is it C, 3,043? Or is it D, 4,304? So take a moment and count those up. See how many are in each place. And then you can uh, guess the answer. If you said the answer was 3,043, you would be correct. Because there was three in the thousands place. One, two, three, four in the tens place. There are no hundreds here. And one, two, three in the ones, 3,043. Okay, well, what number is shown by this model? Is it 457? Is it 475? Is it 4,507? Or is it 4,570? Take a moment, look at the model. 
look at each each section that's there and then go ahead and choose your answer if you chose the answer of letter A 457 you would be correct because there are one two three four in the hundreds so one two three four five in the tens so there's fifty and one two three four five six seven in the ones for seven four hundred fifty seven well that was our video on how to write and find numbers using base 10 models uh, a special thanks to uh, these um, stores these groups for providing the materials we use to make this I hope that it was enjoyable to you good luck in your studies and again this is Mr. Pearson